Hi, hello, and come and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, I mean again, this is a part two of how to install JMeter in Windows 11. And in this video, I have touched uh, touched upon this that we are going to see uh, like how people from different countries with different languages also can use JMeter because by default we all know JMeter comes with comes in English so that's the default uh, language that JMeter comes in so if you see here um, the menus I mean the file the edit search run options tools help everything comes in English right but as you all know uh, that JMeter is an open source and people across the world is using JMeter for uh, functional testing, for performance testing, for automation and lots and lots of other ways that they can, they are using it. So, so JMeter is again customized in different languages. So today in this video, we'll see how to configure JMeter in Chinese, German, Japanese, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, the Brazilian, and uh, Spanish and Turkish. Okay, so these are uh, some of the eight different languages which uh, in which JMeter comes in. Uh, so we'll see that how to uh, configure it, and um, this is going to be much more interesting. And if you're someone who is looking for this video, this will be very helpful for you. And uh, with no further delays, let's go to the video. And before that, this is me, Asun Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Sla YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. And don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video and if it really helped you. And don't forget to give a join uh, for the channel for getting more quality content like this. That's going to be a big support for me. And then share it with your friends, right? So coming back to this part. So like I told you, uh, by default, this works in English, right? Apart from this, there are eight other languages that JMeter works in. So let me close this and uh, let me open the bat file. So let me edit notepad and here uh, in line number 4041. So this is what we get. So by default, it's in English, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in English. So I'm going to use set JVM underscore args. Yeah, I'm going to use args equals minus D user dot language equals zh so zh is the language and then i'm going to use the region so d user dot region is going to be chinese so now i have changed it and let's open the jmeter now so i'm going to double click on it and uh, now the jmeter has opened in chinese so this is the file menu edit and all the other menus so this is control f search and then control r run so this is run and these are the other look and feel menu and then here we have got the function helper so yeah so this actually gives a, a localization to the users who are using it i mean this actually will help the users in different regions i mean it will give a lot of idea on what is this and in fact this is how people from China or those who are well versed in China, they can use JMeter very well. And now we'll move on to the second language, which is like basically third language. So English is the first one, second is Chinese, and now the third one is the German. So let me close JMeter again, and then going back to the notepad. So uh, let me comment it. I think it's... Yep, and then now let me open the next one. So it's, this is going to be for German. So set, again, same, JVM args equal to D user dot language equals double quotes DE. So this is German, and we're going to use the language as DE, which basically, you know, notifies German and let me open the jmeter.bat okay so I think okay let me do one thing let me close it and then go back to the jmeter here and let me delete this line and 
and let me check this so jvm underscore args d use okay it's oh sorry i think i missed it so i need to add a minus before the d user language and let me save it go back yep it's working fine and now yep here we have got the german so file menu edit menu search start options tools and then help so yeah i believe i know a little bit of german as well i think so yeah this is more like an english language but still if you are who is from german uh, germany so this will be very helpful for you so this is for the german one and what did i use is i have used de for german right and let me comment it so to comment it i'm going to use rem and then the next one so now i'm going to show you how to open jmeter using japanese like uh, sorry uh, how to use open jmeter in japanese so set jvm underscore args equals minus d user yep oh, sorry uh, d user dot language equals so for japanese it's going to be ja yep and now let's open jmeter yeah so no so for no errors and okay i think it's not picked up properly let me just open it again so set jvm args minus d user dot language yep everything looks fine but still it's not working maybe so let me just copy this and then ja yep i think i made it right so let's anyways check it out and go back to jmeter yep i got it japanese so file menu edit search run options tools help yep it's working fine so so far we saw chinese german japanese and next we're going to see norwegian let me open the file and let me copy this one here so for now let me comment this one and going back to the next one so norwegian right so for norwegian it's going to be n o n o so n o is for norwegian let me just save it again and then now let's open jmeter.bat i believe yes we are right so file edit search start i mean run basically i believe and then options tools and help yep so norwegian is also working fine and what is the command i used is set jvm underscore arcs equals minus so don't forget this minus before d user dot language so that's where we define the language the user language so we are defining user language as minus d user dot language equals no and uh, let's move on to the next language now and that is let me just paste it here and uh, the next language is polish polish right so let me save it and going back to the jmeter.bat and yep i got it so file edit search search is always search and then we have the uh, start i mean the running command and then options tools help is in a different uh, different spelling here yep because it's polish right so yeah and uh, i think even inside here also like you can see uh, the do dodge i mean I, I don't really know polish but still uh, if i want to add a test by even the threads yeah the thread names are changing here right the thread group names is different here uh, the pre processor is different pre processor post processor assertions assert g please correct me if i'm wrong assert g and test fragment so uh, please comment from where you're watching this video so that 
uh, I will know like which language are you using. If you're, like if you're using in Chinese, please comment that you're using in Chinese. If you are using German, uh, JMeter in German, please do comment in Japanese or Norwegian or Polish or even if you use it in English, please do comment in English. And if you're someone in Portuguese, please do comment in the Portuguese, Spanish. Yes, please do. And the occasion now. Uh, we have uh, covered until Polish. So now we'll move on to Portuguese. So let me close this. Let me open the jmeter.bat here. And then, yep, here I have previously Polish. So let me copy. Okay, let me just uh, comment it. So REM is the comment line here. And then now the next one. So Polish. And now the next one is the language is PT for Brazilian. So we do have Portuguese and Brazilian. And now the D user dot region equals. So this is going to be Brazilian, right? So uh, it's going to be the, the language is Portuguese, but the region is Brazil. I'm going to save it and then open jmeter.batch. Yep, I got the Portuguese Brazilian version. So file, edit as editor search, execute, execute the test, options is like opsos, please correct me if I'm wrong. And we have the appearance, right? This is appearance, yeah. And the feature to dose, expand. I have tools here, and then even uh, if I want to add a thread group, yeah, the name of the thread group is different here, and the elements is different. It looks quite interesting when when seeing it in different uh, uh, language, right? Yeah, let me exit Sire. Sire is exit, right? Okay. I, I believe I would have learned multiple languages even if I'm using JMeter. And coming back to the next one. So we have completed until Portuguese, the Brazilian one. And the next one is going to be an interesting one. That is Spanish. So I have lots of subscribers from Spain. I mean, like, from Spanish who watch my JMeter videos. So this is for you guys. Opening JMeter now. Now we'll get the Spanish version of JMeter. Yes, file. And then editor, search. Lanzar, I'm not sure what is it, but yeah, options, tools, Ayuda is help. Great, and then even uh, control G. Uh, control shift G toggle we have and then oh the test plan the, thread, the test plan I mean the thread group name is different the plan test plan is called as plan D Prubas greater than Salir for exit restart I think it's rearrank and Salir okay Salir I'm not sure I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it the right way I'm pronouncing it in terms of English, so exit. And then the last one, which is the Turkish. Turkish, yep, I like the baklava. So now let me open the Turkish one. And uh, let's go to the next one. So far, if you're someone who is working from Turkish, the Turkish language, so TR, save and let me open the JMeter. So, yeah, finally, the Turkish one does. Yeah, is file, edit, search, execute, options, tools, and finally, the help. Yep, it looks fine. And test plan is, again, it's around same. And then we have the third group. And we have the next, I think this is the, uh, config elements I believe yeah here is the post processors the pre processors and this is I think the samplers yeah I found it the samplers correct and then the the fragments the listeners I believe this is the list oh sorry the assertions this is the assertions and then this where is the listeners oh my god okay I think I haven't add much of the listeners I believe okay I think I should find the view results tree Ah, here, I think here is the listeners. Yeah, this is the listeners. Okay, got it. Fine. So with that, I come to an end. And in fact, you if you, I'm not sure whether you know this, but if you want to uh, uh, create in your own language, for example, if I'm 
basically from a language called Tamil, the oldest language currently in the world. Even I, I can do it. So if I want to create it, I can go to the properties and I can create, I can submit that to the project, them to the whatever change I want, like for file, I can give the name, the right name in Tamil and for someone who wants to use it. And if you're someone who is from a, from a Telugu background or if you're someone who is from Malayalam or Kannada or Hindi, you can also submit your uh, ways so that it will be more closer to you. I mean, like, I, it's, again, it's a good way of using it, right? I mean, like, having it in our own language is, is a way of using it. But still, there is some ways. It's, again, JMIT is an open source one where we can customize everything which what, what we want to do. So I'm just giving you a suggestion. And if you are really interested, you can submit to JMIT. And they will, they will definitely uh, share across the world with your other friends. And yeah, with that, I come to the end of this video. And we'll see much more in the upcoming videos. There are like much more to discuss for JMeter. And like there are tons and tons of things you, you, you can learn about JMeter. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. So until I meet you in my next video, it's bye-bye from Vasan Shanmugam and your favorite Tetelsala YouTube channel. Take care and bye-bye.